Hi everyone, I'm Sunil Kaulgi, the CEO of OutClub. So how many times have you found yourself repeating yourself in multiple emails, where you had the same thing to say, but then had to create a new email from scratch? So what you would end up doing was probably copying the content of one email and then pasting into a new one that you create. So I've done this numerous times, believe me. So uh, what I often do is I, I send an email to my users, the our users of OutClip, uh, for feedback on, on OutClip. And I, the most of the email, 90% of the email is the exact same for every user I send it to. But then sometimes I do end up personalizing it uh, based using the user's name and so on. So what I end up doing is I create I create multiple emails with each of them having like 90% in common. So uh, what I did was I, I found myself this to be very painful to have to kind of recreate every new email from scratch by copying, pasting content across emails. So I ended up buying a special tool for this purpose so I could create email templates that I could kind of reuse in every new new email that I created without having to copy and paste. So, uh, and I paid for this tool for many months and only recently I realized that Gmail has an inbuilt feature that lets you create templates, email templates that you can reuse. So I'm gonna show you today how exactly you go about creating an email template or canned response as Gmail calls it. So this is a very powerful feature that's gonna let you really supercharge your Gmail experience and help you create uh, a common email template that you can use in every new email that you create. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open Gmail settings. And in the Gmail settings, click on the advanced tab. Now under advanced, you see this option here, canned responses. It says, create a templated response by saving common messages using a button in the compose toolbar. So that's exactly what we want. We want to create an email once, we want to save it, and then we want to reuse it in every new email that we create. So I'm going to enable this feature. And don't forget to save changes, otherwise the saving won't, change won't get saved. Okay, so now let's, the feature is going to be enabled and I'm going to compose a new email and save it as a template. Okay, so here uh, the to field, you can leave it empty. The subject is going to be a uh, request for feedback. And then I'm going to type in my email template. So hi, and this is going to be whatever username. Thanks for using Outlook. Please could, could you give us, uh, give us feedback on your experience? Love the, the Gmail autocompose tool nowadays. It, it tends to complete your sentences and that's so cool. And so I'm gonna say, thanks, Sunil. Okay, so here's an email template that I wanna use. Uh, of course, my emails tend to be a little longer than this because I'm asking multiple questions and it gets painful. Uh, if the longer the email, the more painful it is to recreate each time. So that's where our template's gonna be really handy. So what we have done here is we've created a template and now we wanna save it as a template. Let's save it. I click on canned responses, save, Save draft as template. And let's call this, save as a new template. And the name is gonna be request for feedback, save it. Okay, so that, there you go. So we have created a canned response that we can now reuse in every email. So I'm gonna close this draft. I'm gonna hit compose. And now I, let's say I want to create a new email using the template I already generated. Canned responses, request feedback template. And voila, it's created a, a new email with the content that you had previously saved as a template. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, and I, I personally get a lot out of it because I, need, I tend to reuse a lot of content across emails. And if you are also a pretty a power email user like me, you will definitely find this helpful as well. So I hope you got some utility out of this, uh, watching this video. And uh, Dev, please do comment below if you have any questions or feedback. And please do subscribe to the Outflip channel. Okay, thanks a lot. Hope you liked it. Bye.